I'm Eric Krumholz. I am a technology fellow with Deloitte. Um, I am uh, part of the leadership team from Modern Delivery, which includes Agile, SRE, uh, DevSecOps, Site Reliability Engineering, Observability, and anything that has to do with Modern Delivery. Today, I'm going to talk to you about uh, some work that we have done um, in, the, uh, in the automotive side. Uh, this project is for a large automotive manufacturer where we were looking at uh, enabling um, a digital backbone for the organization with the intent of modernizing the development process and break some of the silos and inefficiencies that the teams were experimenting. Uh, the, the intent of this engagement was uh, to increase the speed um, and quality of the software releases. It also included the uh, uh, enabling of collaboration and breaking silos across the, uh, the organization, uh, reducing the level of non-value activities by uh, breaking those silos again and enable, um, finding uh, ways that we could automate and avoid toil, and then creating an integrated uh, unified environment where um, people that were building hardware and software were able to bring things together. Uh, as an overview of the what we call the digital thread at that point, and create a digital twin of the organization, uh, we wanted to uh, tackle really this in four areas. One was to enable continuity by uh, enabling CICD practices, including test automation, uh, all the way through the release of uh, product, increase agility, uh, implementation of uh, continuous release uh, and continuous deployment, uh, accelerating the development of those releases and enabling monitoring and agile DevSecOps uh, processes. We also created uh, planning uh, and prioritization standards uh, leveraging agile best practices, uh, and it was intended to interact with the upstream portfolio as well as the rest of the EPIC stakeholders. And last is uh, governance. Uh, what we have done is uh, we instituted safe uh, practices uh, to enable co collaboration and to enable uh, release trains that were able to collaborate um, across the board and these provided uh, release-based custom practices and automated software uh, artifact exchanges. The key differentiators that uh, we had were important for this uh, delivery was the creation of uh, processes first. Uh, and, and this was really in a way kind of a value stream map exercise, identifying where the um, where the gaps were, where the, some things could be automated, and where some toil was identified. And a lot of this was really first understanding the old processes and how it was done due to all the silos, and then finding a better way to connect. The second part was creating a data model to standardize the ontology language so that every part of the organization will be able to manage the information across systems and functions. We then created a series of tools and systems that were intended to simplify the ecosystem and facilitate how those tools were being deployed across multiple groups. And last but not least was to create mo modern software uh, DevOps practices uh, that were able to scale by creating CI, CD um, processes and uh, at the same time enabling a continuous improvement methodology. Uh, regarding the acceleration of software development, one of the things that we did was to really focus on enabling the developer experience. Uh, so developer experience is intended to first create um, journeys for multiple developer personas. Uh, you have all these tools, but the intent is how can you abstract this? How can you then make uh, use of these tools in the, in the easiest uh, um, way possible. So the idea of uh, creating a developer experience through a platform engineering approach is to create these journeys for each one of these personas and then enabling the assets for them, uh, whether it's a developer, uh, for example, where they are able to build, test, and execute 
code uh, or for a DevSecOps persona, which is able to package and release and test uh, the applications and enabling best practices, like in the case of automotive, ASPICE, uh, Fusa traceability, etc. cetera. Uh, some of the methodologies that we used um, are listed here. One of them is our, Dev, uh, our DevOps practice, our DevOps tool platform. We call DCP, is our DevOps cloud platform. Uh, this is um, open source based software with a, uh, num uh, with a proprietary predictive rules based engine that allows you to build highly secure and industrialized CI CD platforms. But what it brings to the table is these out of the box blueprints with best practices that we were able to share right out of the bat and enable implement integration with an ecosystem of tools and at the same time um, enabling these uh, uh, APIs to be used in your developer experience. Some other things that we use were um, the, the idea of building all these metrics uh, that we were tracking, uh, KPIs across multiple teams, uh, things uh, such as Dora metrics for um, and they figuring out what was the er their error density or understanding, you know, how did they do um, uh, their releases or accelerating those number of releases, uh, et cetera. We also help with the digital thread integration by tying the um, uh, traceability between the, the hardware and the software. We also work on the integration and acceleration of uh, releases to bridge the gap on the software the, 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 the development and the deployment. And ultimately, we were able to integrate a lot of uh, good practices to uh, integrate uh, hardware and software together, such as the idea of semantic versioning. Um, all these uh, in collaboration, all together, where we were able to also tie to other parts of the digital strategy or the dig digital uh, release that we were able to tie on how the bill of materials were cre being created for in, from the engineering side and then how these were being used in the manufacturing side. Some of the impact we had is uh, we were able to absolutely streamline the software development methodology, breaking down some of these silos, uh, identifying these personas, and enabling uh, out-of-the-box uh, uh, blueprints with the right practices that were able to bring all these teams together, and also enable the right team structure and to be able to enable that collaboration between stakeholders uh, in a way to help work uh, in a horizontal manner rather than sequentially. So, and, and a secondary benefits we had, we were able to create a modular uh, design uh, methodology to help maximize reuse and also to help accelerate the development of software. We were able to also uh, provide a rapid cost analysis of design and updates. And we were able to reduce the complexity of uh, manufacturing by enabling the building of hardware and software to be uh, to be taken in, in a unified manner. Last but not least, uh, some things to think about is to uh, when when you want to optimize developer uh, velocity is to prioritize and plan, uh, making sure that you're uh, enabling the right standards across the enterprise to inter interface or integrate across uh, the portfolio and epics. Uh, collaborate and integrate uh, by dissolving these uh, silos and providing uh, a way to work across the organization. Um, leverage proven methodologies uh, around DevSecOps um, in, the, in the way of managing the work, building, testing, and deploying the work. And then improving release agility, which is something that is a journey uh, at uh, building these uh, agile practices and, and also uh, leading these, um, these uh, ceremonies. Uh, and the use of these uh, ceremonies um, help with uh, you know, your continuous releases, accelerating uh, velocity for developers, and uh, helping uh, monitor your agile and DevSecOps processes more successfully. Uh, thank you so much for the time today. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact me. Um, anytime. Thank you for your attention.